Did you ever meet Jacob Voltz? Yeah, I met him a few times. He died two years ago. What about him? Just wondering. Don't strain yourself. Did you know Eduardo Peralta? Apparently, he was searching for some lost mine. Of course I knew him. What kind of stupid, lame question is that? How could I not know him? It's possible, given your lifestyle. You were even more dense than I thought you were. At least I'm clear in my thoughts. Grrr. You didn't answer my question about the mine. Seeing as how I'm sitting here and not out there looking for it, that should give a strong indication, even to you, that I don't put much stock in that theory. How about putting some stock into washing your face every morning? Out! Leave. Me. Alone. Leave. Hey kid, I thought you might be able to help me with this. Will it make you go away faster? I just thought you might be able to look at this cryptic message. Huh? Let me see. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, you must be kidding, right? Even an amateur cryptographer could... No, no, a newbie cryptographer could... A person who's never even touched on the subject his entire life could solve this sorry cipher. Okay then, be a sport and crack it for me, would ya? You want me to drop my standards to solve the most fundamentally basic code ever conceived? Uh, yes. Please. And you want it known that you couldn't solve even the simplest cipher ever to be committed to paper? I confess! I'm dumb! I don't know how to solve codes! In fact, up to this point, I thought that a codec was a large bear! Come on, kid, I really need to know what it says! Please! How much thinking have you actually done this past week? Collecting flowers, renting a mule... I realize it's a big ask, but try using whatever's substituting as your brain! Can't you at least give me a hint? A hint? I bet you'd use a walkthrough if you could! Is there one? Don't be ridiculous! Look, I'm not- Really? Alright, fine, I am. I'm begging you to help me. At least nudge me in the right direction. If I help you, will you promise to leave me alone for the rest of my life? Sure, it'd be a pleasure. Very well. Have you ever heard of the Caesar Shift? No, don't answer. I can tell you haven't. The Caesar Shift cipher is a very simple coding system in which you displace every symbol in the alphabet by four positions. So a V in such a cipher would actually represent an... R... Uh, correct! Uh... Thanks. You can thank me by making good on your promise. Never bother me again. Ever. Your wish is my desire. Uh... Re Do you even know the modern Roman alphabet? I'm not telling you about the four-letter shift backwards again. I knew there were some dumb people out there, but you were as dumb as they come. Now leave me alone. I need all the time I have to work on Cryptomax. By the look of things, you don't need Cryptomax, you need Acne Max. How dare you! My less than perfect skin is the only thing I can't defend. Ouch! I guess I touched on a sensitive spot. What kind of person are you? To attack my only physical flaw, my single weakness, my city of Troy, the only chink in my otherwise impregnable armor. Your very blemished armor. That's it! You are now on my ignore list. Get out! 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 There's no chance.
Did you know Eduardo Peralta? Not too well. He kept quiet. Didn't make a market gossip. And he wasn't a big drinker. He hardly made a stir in town until the news of his passing. What do you know of Eduardo's search for the lost mine? Hey, Rita's father was searching for something out in the desert somewhere. I felt sorry for Rita when he passed. But he wouldn't have been the first to die trying to reach that pot of gold. You cats, jerks and suitors. What do you know about Jacob Bolts? Hmm. Oh yeah. Older fella from Holland, wasn't he? Came in here a few times before setting out on that trip with Rita's father. Ordered whiskey, no ice. Never liked the nuts. Too salty, he said. You're starting to repeat yourself, lad. Sure you wouldn't like to be having a drink? Help get your thoughts. You're starting to repeat... Great with men anyhow Aside from five minutes a day He's never around when you need one And he won't come when you say If that's someone's idea of love Do you know of Eduardo's search for the lost mine? That man had his head stuck up in the clouds his whole life, searching for treasure. Might be fine when you're a boy, but a grown man gallivanting around the desert ain't the kind of thing you do when you got all your marbles. Did you ever meet Jacob Voltz? Reckon that's the foreigner who rented a mule from me once was the same animal I rented you a short while back. When he returned it, the sorry thing had massive indigestion, like it had eaten something unusual. Of course, it's too stupid to know not to eat foreign food. You got more coming out of your oral crapper than a week's worth of mule turd, boy. You got more coming out of your oral crapper. You got more the mule couldn't cope with any food. I hope the oleander doesn't do it damage. Himalaya Studios do not endorse the harming of animals in any way, and no animals, real or otherwise, were harmed in the making of this adventure. Himalaya Studios is not responsible for any actions a mentally imbalanced consumer may take against an animal as a result of playing this game. All complaints regarding the solution to this puzzle can be forwarded as far away from us as possible.
Gross! This key doesn't fit that lock. This key... That floor... A hole is revealed beneath the loose floorboard. You look into the cavity and discover a locked chest. With a ball. Using the small key, you unlock the chest. Eureka! Inside, you find a journal, a large folded piece of paper, licorice, and some charcoal. After a lifetime of searching, I still cannot believe that I stand in the very mine I have sought for so many years. My colleague, the steadfast Dutchman, has returned to town, having been afflicted by a strange illness. He bears the other half of the stone map. May he keep it safe, always. I am alone now. The three remaining workers from Mexico who were to assist me in locating the gold have regretfully passed away. The illness which has plagued my colleague afflicted them also. I remain alive, I believe, because of some rather curious habit of mine. A penchant for eating salted licorice. This is the only factor I can attribute to why I have not succumbed to the ravages of whatever deadly air permeates this place. Should I require of this unlikely antidote, more can be found in my chest. I have uncovered a small amount of gold there, and I shall soon return to town to present it to my daughter. It is a trifle amount to be certain, but it is proof nonetheless that the legendary gold of the Aztecs is here and I have found it. It will not be long before I return hopefully with my colleague to reap the benefits of our lifelong quest. It is with some trepidation that I set out across the desert toward town. The tensions between the local Indians and the townspeople have heightened through the years. My path will take me past the Indian encampment and I fear the encounter I may have. My journal shall be a record of the events of the last few days, surely the most exciting of my whole life. A paper robbing has been made of my half of the stone. The map shall lead one directly to the Aztec gold. May I walk in safety home, so that I may again see my daughter and share with her the end of my long search. Peace and prosperity await us. A rubbing of Senor Peralto's stone half. It's almost as if he knew. No, he was probably just the careful type. This 
this is it. The two halves of the stone form an X over the mine's location. Those Aztecs were really ahead of their time. I suppose I'd better eat this antidote. Yuck, salty licorice. Good thing this stuff's got lots of preservatives. At least it's kept. I think I'll check out that map location. According to the map, the X marks this location. But I don't see the mine anywhere around here. Maybe I need to get down to that lower area. So much for that idea. The shovel. The desert is freezing cold at night. I think I'll go straight back to town. You don't need any more. It's a what? The main... You don't need... You don't... You don't... It's a... You don't... It feel... How can I tell that from touching it? Are you forgetting who I am? For all I know, you're a voice in my head. Or you're a voice in mine. Okay, we're not going there. You don't... You don't need do you don't you don't need any more I don't want to wait
Wombat, Wombat, Wombat. I think I'll check out that map location again. Finally, the mine entrance. You know, Al, you really shouldn't. Why not? Danger for a start. You can die in the next act. So? Reality's kicking in a bit late. I'll be careful. Haven't you been listening? It's totally pointless for you, of all people, to go in there. Meaning what? All right, I'll sum up. You're a bald, pudgy, short, awkward, socially defunct, unfit, optically challenged, vocally disturbing, accident-prone, whiny, parentally dependent fashion disaster, and you wouldn't know a rock unless you ran into one. Face it, Al, you're not cut out to be a hero. Go away. What did you say? I said go away. I don't need you anymore. You do so. Do not. I'm tired of your put-downs, pet hates, and unhelpful hints. It's obvious you didn't want to narrate this story, and I can do just fine on my own. Cannot. Can too. Cannot. Can too. Cannot. Can too, 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 too. Not, 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 not! Just go! He's gone. I told him to leave, and he left. Well, good riddance. Wouldn't know a rock unless I ran into one. <laughs> Ow! 